Hello everybody, happy Sunday to you. I'm forecaster Dustin Staples with you as we go out this weekend. It's been a very eventful weekend here at WIT and thank you all who have called and keep calling this evening as we'll be continuing that telethon from 7 to 11 on Sunday. We'll be seeing a nice day. We're going to call it nice because we're not going to be seeing any humidity start to move in today, but tomorrow for sure. The summertime heat also makes a comeback as well. Also watching for the potential for a few scattered showers and storms as we go out our days. Now again, we've had highs and earlier this morning in the 50s and 60s now approaching those mid 70s as we go towards early uh, this morning now and continuing that by the humidity and the dew points well up there. So again, the humidity is increased and the dew points are also up there as well. That's also watching that uh, potential for that uh, high sticky heat to return once again. A few clouds early on this morning. Those are slowly starting to fade apart. Kind of the mix of clouds and sunshine. This batch of rain here will slowly start to weaken. Maybe some light showers here or there, but I think most of us are going to remain rain free at least through the first half of the day and then later in the afternoon we may see a few showers kind of pop up here or there. Winds come out of the south today about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That'll be the general theme for most of everybody as we go towards today. Even going into Monday morning too, we'll go under 10 miles for our Monday right there as well. Now again, the rain chances here, they're going to start to perk up as we go up this week. Not every day is a washout. I want to reiterate that. We're watching Thursday though. That may bring the potential for some more storms as we go further in time right there. As you do notice, as we go towards the upcoming weekend, this uh, rain chances go below 20%. Again, we'll keep an eye on that as we go further in the time. Just watch out again. Keep that rain gear on stand. Bye. We'll see a few clouds moving on in as we go towards today. Maybe a sprinkle here or there. We'll see maybe some lighter showers as we go towards this afternoon. Maybe a rumble of thunder here or there. But generally speaking, we're going to be pretty good to go. More clouds filter on in from Monday morning. We may get a few breaks in the afternoon with maybe some pop up go showers as I indicate that here for you for your Monday. Some of those storms could pack a punch briefly, but they'll be very short lived as they do so as well. Another few more shower chances as we go towards Tuesday. You'll see that in the eight day forecast in just a bit. Rain Rainfall amounts. Every day you're going to get about a quarter to maybe three quarters of it, a three tenths of an inch of rain about each and every day. And you kind of can see here a half an inch, a half an inch, a half an inch. You kind of get the gist of what goes on with that right there too. Hopefully ECU gets this win today as they're going to be hopefully hoping hosting the super regionals this weekend coming up right there as well. 79 as their ball will be uh, batting out there against VCU. We've also got the Kinston Wood Ducks later on today at one o'clock looking pretty nice. Beautiful sunny weather. Going to ask for that maybe a few clouds here or there, but generally speaking, we'll see that mix of clouds and sun most likely later in the afternoon. Highs today getting up in the upper 80s, mid 80s, excuse me, not upper 80s tonight. We'll see a few showers mild again. The increase in the humidity is going to be begin to notice too, so that's something you have to watch out for as you're heading out and about right there too. Watch out again. Not every day is a washout, just kind of hit or miss showers and storms. The humidity well up there. We may see heat index values on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday feel closer to the lower 90s again. Again, watching that storm threat going into Thursday as a cold front is going to slowly knock our temperatures back down by next weekend highs in the mid 80s.